Hey, what's up? I'm Mitchell. And I'm Calissa Anderson, and we're here today cooking with Taste Dining at Home, presented by Diners Club. Today I'm going to be cooking a delicious EXO eggplant noodle. I'm going to be making a panna cotta with a guava granita and bee pollen. So first off today we're going to start with the EXO eggplant noodles. EXO sauce is traditionally a cooked down chilli sauce made with dried scallops, dried shrimp. It's really luxurious, you know, it's like the ball of sauce. I mean obviously you can put as much or as little chilli in as you like depending on how spicy you like things. Bit of ginger. What level would you say this is? Uh, it's pretty mild. I like the flavour of chilies. Yeah. Not necessarily like blowing my head off with heat. So we're just going to blitz the ginger, chilli, garlic. While we're doing the EXO, we can also burn the eggplants. Start it over medium to high heat because we want to cook the garlic, ginger and chilli until they're nice and fragrant. So now we'll add all the, the mushrooms. And same thing, we'll just sweat them down. You really have to have the shousing in there to create the flavour of EXO. Okay, so now we're just going to add the oil. This is just going to cook down in the oil for a few hours until everything is really, really nice and soft and homogenous. And we've just got some mushroom floss and some salted kombu. What's your favourite way of cooking eggplant? This way is my favourite because you don't have to do anything. You just put it there and forget about it and burn it. It's so beautiful and soft and silky. silky so yeah. Look at that. Okay, so we've got the finished EXO sauce. So you can see how cooked down it is, how much darker and richer it is in colour. We're going to put the noodles together. It's the EXO sauce, the eggplant and the noodles. We're just going to finish with some Thai basil. Look what you made there. You go. It looks good. It smells good. It's very fragrant. Oh, God, the eggplant's good. Yeah. Right then, do you want to have some dessert? Let's do it. <laughs> So the panna cotta um, is just a lovely, simple, cream-based dessert, which, you know, it's kind of like a milk jelly. Actually, it is. It is. It's, it's, a milk, it's a milk jelly. Why did you choose to grow guavas on the farm? Guava is like a great backyard or even a pot tree because it actually requires little to almost no maintenance. So you're just going to blitz it and then just pass it? Just blitz it, yeah, pass it through a strainer. And we're just doing this to get all the rough, grainy, seedy bits out. And ladies and men, use that for your face. Uh, yeah, face yeah face seriously. I love cooking with salt in desserts. So all you do is just, you're just going to mix the honey in and that's it. And then you freeze it. Very simply, all you're gonna do is let it come to a boil. Chuck the gelatin in and just whisk it really fast. And you just wanna cool it down. Panna cotta is cool now, so we're just going to pour it into the moulds. And you know what I love? I love like our Australian pollen so much, and it kind of texturally works really well with this. So good, the guava is so good. <laughs> so guys, that's it. The recipes are up on the website. Give it a go, show us what you come up with. You got my EXO eggplant noodles. And my panna cotta guava granita bee pollen. But the other thing is, don't stick to our recipes. Riff. Mix it up. Yeah, yeah, play and show us what you've got.